Hey guys, I'm Abby. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. But today I'm starting a new garment video project. Um, I have, today I'm making a dress. I have made this dress before but I didn't like film it or anything. But when I made it, I knew eventually I would have to remake this dress whether it kind of like for two reasons. One, I made a lot of mistakes. It was wearable and I did wear it for a while. Um, but I knew it would probably fall apart just because of mistakes making it for the first time and everything. And two, I knew I wanted to eventually remake it because I really did enjoy the dress. It was easy to make. I really liked the style on me. And so I knew eventually I would remake it. Um, so today I am. And kind of for both the reasons I just stated, the original dress I made is, I've worn it many times since it's been like, four or five months since I, since I made it, but it is kind of starting to fall apart and I actually washed it wrong and kind of threw it in the dryer on accident. So it's a little torn up and didn't survive. Um, like this is, I have the dress right here. Uh, you can see the straps are kind of falling apart and some seams are coming undone just cause uh, it couldn't handle the dryer. And I've worn it quite a few times so it's it's all right again I knew I was gonna have to remake it eventually but I gotta wear it enough so yeah today I'm gonna remake it and if you're wondering if you're wondering the dress is the Raya dress by Tammy Handmade so this is the dress and the pattern um I really really like this dress I like the style and it's really easy to make this is kind of the outline of it but yeah that's what this dress is but you know, the straps are coming apart and some of the seams, some of the seams along the bodice are trying to come out. And I think just going through the wash and dryer, the fabric didn't really hold up. So yeah, I want to, I knew from the start I was going to remake this dress. And so that's what I'm going to do today. And you can see this one I did in a white and blue kind of light pattern and the fabric I'm going to do the new one in is also white and blue. I got both these fabrics from my sister except this one. This fabric is a little less white and it has a lot more blue but it has like this floral pattern on it almost. So I think the dress will look really good in this and this fabric is a little lighter than the white fabric I used for the last one. Um, so maybe it'll be a little flowy, more flowy I guess than the other one and I think I have just enough of this fabric for it. I think I have to be smart about how I cut it to get all the pieces but I think it's going to look great and I have enough lining for it. So this is what we're going to make today. And if I remember correctly it only took me like a whole like one day to make this dress even with kind of like figuring out how to do it. There was a few things it was my first time doing for this dress um, but I think I finished it within like an afternoon. Or like a day I don't remember but it wasn't super long but I think I'll spread it out on like two days in this video like today I'll do like the cutting and maybe some of the like base sewing like get the straps done and stuff but I think I might save the rest of the sewing for tomorrow just because it is already later in the afternoon so and I have like other things to do but I want to at least start this project today and then maybe finish it tomorrow because it's fairly simple and I really would like this dress. Um, we're getting closer to the end of summer so I want to finish it and be able to wear it for a couple for the time we have left within the summer. But yeah that's what we're gonna get started on today so let's get cutting. <laughs> So I have all the main pieces cut out. I was able to get all of them because you have to cut two of each of these square ones. Um, I was able to get all of them, even the fabric, even though the fabric was a little short. 
Um, I just, at the end there, you had to see me like refold it so I could get two folds for both of these. Cause usually you cut them out like one on top of the other, like with the fold here, but I just um, rearranged it. So I had two folds on my fabric and laid them back to back like this to get. So if your fabric's a little short, then the recommended length of like amount hopefully you can do that to still get all the pieces i'm really excited how this is going to turn out so now i just have to cut out these bodice pieces and this larger square piece um, in my lining which i just have like a white lining because this fabric is a little see-through you have to do a lining for the bodice anyways but um, i'm also going to do the main front piece so it's not see-through yeah so you can see kind of see my hand through that but yeah so I just have to do iron this and cut out the pieces for the bodice and the main square of the fabric this is a large piece of lining that I just have and I have to iron it first but I think after that that might be the last thing I do today uh, maybe I'll do the strap also the straps today but other than that I think I might just save the sewing until tomorrow because sometimes cutting is a lot. It's very exhausting sometimes, but I'm going to cut out the lining now. all the lining pieces cut out now which means the whole dress is cut out one thing about this dress i really like is that the big two main pieces are just like big squares so they're super easy to cut out um sometimes i don't even have to pin them down i just lay little weights on them and i can cut them out really easily so i have everything cut out but i'm not gonna sew today i'm not gonna start sewing today i'm gonna wait till tomorrow and I'm probably gonna work on other things the rest of tonight. But I'm really excited to make this dress or use this fabric for this dress. I think it's gonna look really good. I really liked my first dress, even though I made some mistakes on it. Um, hopefully I can make this one a little bit better and so it won't fall apart and I'll take better care of making sure it doesn't go in the dryer. Like my last dress got accidentally thrown in with all my other clothes. But yeah, um, this dress is halfway done basically. I just have to sew it all, which isn't too hard. It's a lot of basting and then using my serger just to sew it all together and it will be done pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow when I start sewing. All right, so I am back today to finish sewing this Rhea dress. Um, got it all cut out. Now it's just time to sew it all together. So it shouldn't take too long. I have my sewing machine and my serger ready to go so hopefully this will not take too long so yeah, i just have to start sewing the first thing is the bodice sewing like the lining and the pieces together i have all the lining cut also so i'm really looking forward to how this is going to turn out i really like this fabric and kind of the pattern and colors on it so let's get started <music> sewn together correctly and so I did also do the straps which is one of the parts I had trouble with on the last dress and I think I did a lot better job on them this time I don't think they'll fray like the other ones did I didn't cut down the like inseam part as I did last time I think that's what helped the seam come apart and it just frayed the fabric so I left that it was a little harder to turn out but they still went obviously. So I think these will stay a little longer. And so now I just have to attach them inside of the bodice here and then sew them on. And this is kind of the part that kind of takes the longest. So getting through this pretty quickly and uh, hopefully have a dress soon. <music> the bodice completely done it is attached to both sides the side seams are done 
turning out really well. This is the front side and then the back side. So yeah, this was probably gonna take me the longest just to do the bodice. I'm always, every time I put on straps, I'm always nervous I'm going to twist them or put the sides on wrong, but it tends to work out. So yeah, I have all this done. So now I just have to do all the sides. And this part should take fairly quickly. I just have to sew, I just have to sew like the sides of all of them and then serge them and baste them, you know, and scrunch them to fit well. So yeah, it shouldn't take too much longer and then the dress will be done. I'm gonna take a little break because I have been sewing for a while, but then I can get back and just do the skirts. That shouldn't take too long. And uh, I'll have a new dress to wear and I'll show you guys when it's all done. So I did not end up finishing the, the dress yesterday, but when I was, uh, when I went for my break, of sewing I was listening to an audiobook while sewing and so I wanted to finish that I was at the very end it was really intense so I just sat there and listened to the last like hour hour and a half of my book um, so the break was a little longer than I was expecting when I did come back from my break I had like a minor panic attack thinking I s cut the wrong amount for the lining or like the wrong pieces and I almost started cutting another piece and then I figured out I wasn't wrong. Um, I did have the right pieces. And so, so then I did end up sewing all the side seams of the skirts of both like two tiers. And then, and then I did in the loose stitching, the base stitching on both sides. And then I did the hem, which is really big for me. I hate doing hems. I don't know. I, I find them boring um, and tedious, but I did the hem, I did the side seams, I did the loose stitching. So all I have to do today is like use the loose stitching to gather the skirt and then pin them, pin all the pieces together and then sew them together. So, which that sewing is with my serger, which doesn't take as long. So I'm really close. I probably could have finished it yesterday, but I just didn't feel like it. But um, it'll probably only take me like an hour or so to finish it today, not even. So yeah, I'm really close. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I just have to gather the skirts, um, pin them on there, and sew them with my serger. And then we'll be done. And I know we'll be done because I already did the hem and everything else is done. So I'm really glad I did the hem yesterday. I almost didn't because, you know, don't like hems, like to delay them as long as possible. But it was easier to do the hem on just the last tier of the skirt instead of when the whole dress is together. So yeah, let's start gathering. So I'm done with my dress. I, the gathering didn't go as well or as smoothly as I thought it would, but we did, uh, I did eventually get it all done and it looks all right. So yeah, the dress is done. You can see I already did the hem, so I don't have to worry about that. So yeah, there's my completed dress. Really excited to wear it. All right, so here's the dress on. I really love how the fabric turned out. Um, some of the gathers do look a little weird, but I also I also think that's just because it's fresh off, fresh off the machine. But yeah, I really love this dress pattern. It's super easy to make, super cute. Um, it fits really well. I did a little better job on doing the parts where I messed up last time because this is my second time making this dress. So. This one will probably last a little longer than the other one. But yeah, I really love how it turned out. I think the fabric looks great with it. And I can't wait to wear this out. I really wanna make like a darker version, like in a dark fabric, uh, since this is my second time making it in a light fabric. But yeah, I really like this dress. I'll probably be making more of them in the future. Um, I have another one of her patterns uh, that her other dress 
pattern that she has and I really want to make that. But yeah, this is the Rhea dress by Tammy Handmade. And it's been one of my favorite sewing patterns I've made so far. Considering this is the second time I made it. I just love to twirl on it. Whee. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm so glad to have another one of these dresses. And I did a little bit better job on it. So it will hopefully last. Even with the gatherings being a little weird. I think it will be totally fine. They're not going to like fall apart. They just. But I think they will be fixed like once I wash it and iron it. But let me know if you guys have made this dress and how you feel about it. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!